going to start it a bit late uh, unfortunate and surely oblivion gate would be fine so if i finish the quest early it means i would be able to actually not be able to, to do that one and save those guys j'ai trouvé une porte d'oblivion dominant le terrain en dehors des murs de Shingrath. Quelqu'un de Shingrath semble patrouiller dans ce périmètre. Je vais rapprocher l'un d'eux et voir si je peux porter assistance. Keep your distance from that accursed portal. I don't like a lot of what I hear. Haven't you heard about these gates to oblivion opening up all over Tamriel? Well, not much to say with them. These gates to other places. Um, well, it's very hard to explain. I'm, I'm not sure I even understand it. I hear tell that the Daedra make their way through these and invade our lands. Sort of a door to the world where they live. Haven't seen it myself and don't intend to. Being this close to one makes me nervous. The good news is nothing's come out since far we'll enter. About two days ago, Count Indaris' son, far will, entered the Oblivion Gate with six other men. We've heard from them since then. The Count fears the worst, and has posted guards here so we can watch and see if anyone comes back out. But so far, nothing. At this point, Count Indaris is offering a reward for the recovery of his son from inside the gate, or confirmed news of his demise. If you find him, or the rest of the Knights of the Thorn, get them out of there. I'm sure the Count would also be pleased if the gate was closed. New to these parts, eh? The Knights of the Thorn are a bunch of rabble who fancy themselves true knights. Farwheel formed the group around two years ago. They make grand boasts and talk a good talk, but that's all they are. The real work goes to us, the city guard. I hate to speak ill of them, as something horrible may have happened. But their own bravado got them into this mess. It's tolerated because Farwheel is the Count's son, plain and simple. He has the power and the coin to put it all together. Most of the time, they lounge around the tavern drinking, making up stories of epic battles with impossible odds that they won. It's all garbage. They never patrol. They never help fight off the occasional bandit that slips into the city. Ah, oh, well, I've said too much already. It's okay. There's only one way to remove that gate. Venture inside, find the gate sigil stone, and take it. Once you have it, the gate should be closed. From what I hear, you'll appear back where you entered, safe and sound. We will remain out here until the gate is either closed, or something emerges from inside. We need to warn Chadenhall of impending attacks. There are seven of them, including Farwill. Even though they're a nuisance, I still hope they haven't been hurt. Or worse. Farwill is a dunder, and he's wearing steel plate armor. His shield should bear the crest of the knights. <laughs> Nothing but the best for the Count's son. Huh. Alors, ça me dit que la porte d'Oblivion qui est apparue en dehors de Shilling Hall. C'est qu'un groupe de chevaliers dirigés par le fils du comte Farwin Indaris euh, sont partis à l'intérieur de fermer la porte. Il y a presque deux jours maintenant. 
Le grand a posté une récompense généreuse pour la fermeture de la porte et les informations sur Farwheel. Je vais questionner un peu plus. La ministre me paraît qu'il fallait diriger un groupe de soldats s'appelant les Knights of the Thorn. J'avais des pins. Ce groupe semble être une petite faction de les... une épine dans la garde de la ville qui maintient un petit abri juste en dehors de la ville. Les commentaires d'Aminus ne sont pas très appréciés. On dit que ça permet la porte de Bolivian de Casey F. Merci Gilles. J'ai résidé à l'intérieur une fois que la guerre est en main. La porte a cessé d'exister. Je vais rester à l'esprit quand je m'aventure. Hmm. Question to cast to Count Castle. Although I'm concerned about the safe return of my son and the closing of the gate, please see Aminus Gregory for all of the details. With a possible attack looming, I must be free to make preparations. Good luck. Very well. We will follow orders. Même fort, tout à voir c'est mieux. Je pénétrerai à travers la porte d'Oblivion en dehors de Shingon et je me retrouve maintenant dans les plaines d'Oblivion elle-même. C'est une chance de détruire la porte et de, de revenir à la maison, de retenir la pierre sigile dans cette citadelle. Je devrais y aller maintenant. Hmm. Euh... Undying Ring, Grand um, Ring of Aegis. Okay. to be weapons need to be careful about potential hidden gates Your footing. Is Rex a running way prematurely? Oh, thank you for blocking the door. Very appreciated. Um. Okay.
Chuck Sheev the Okay, okay. Right, I need to go back and see how the whatever summit is looking. We got one. I saw that a little too late. Got attacked by nature. We found number two. All right, that's two out of seven. All right, maybe we won't take two of us, but maybe only one. Master Mace. Uh -huh. Gage. Number two, number two is below. Don't want to go in the lava. Oh. I've already got two. 
Sends in the tick. I should have tried to knock that one out. Did I put on two PCs again? Seems like it's all. Boots will be completely destroyed every time I do a fight. Because if I will, the other survivors of his group will have left and will have talked to them to understand what happened. What took you so long? We are knights sworn to uphold the laws of Chainmail. We fear no being, and we strike fast and true as lightning. Many wish to join our ranks, as we are of the highest echelon. Only a select few may join the finest force ever to grace the lands of Cyrodiil. Until now, we numbered only seven, but attacked like a regiment. Our enemies quake at our approach, and falter at our charge. Huzzah! I set out with the rest of the knights to dispatch this blemish on the face of our fine world. When we arrived, we were overwhelmed. I myself was able to kill perhaps two score of them, but they just kept coming. Only Bremen and I remain alive. However, with you here now, we can take the sigil stone from that citadel and complete our quest for the good of all Chadenhall. Huzzah! Are you mad? A knight of the Thorn never returns home until the mission is done. It's our way. Now, in my father's name as Count Indoris of Chadenhall, I order you to lead me to that sigil stone. I suggest we use the Raymond Sweep formation. You'll assault and we'll guard the rear flank. Onward and upward! Huzzah! You better stay behind, as you said. The sigil stone for this oblivion gate is the key. As soon as we have it, we shall rid Chaden Hall of its existence. <clears throat> the path is yours. Lead on. Even if Farwell doesn't say it, we appreciate that you're here. Don't judge Farwell too harshly. Most of what he says is fabric. But he's young, and therefore quite brash and inexperienced. All he wants to do is please his father. I've known him since he was a lad, and fighting to defend Chaden Hall is in his heart. I just wish his heart was bigger than his hubris. Huzzah. I'm sure you wish to hear the real story, rather than Farwell's version. Not long after the gate opened, Farwell decided an assault was in order. We charged inside and promptly met resistance. Three of us were cut down in the first wave. We pressed on at Farwell's behest. At the base of the Citadel, we met a larger second wave of foes. We lost two more in that skirmish, as well as Farwell and I being wounded badly. It was at this point we considered retreat. We found the way back blocked by more Daedra, so we were stuck here until rescued by you it's just like farwell to leap before he looks had we brought a city watch contingent we might have taken the sigil stone with minimal losses instead farwell wanted to prove his point the city watch and the knights of the thorn are always at odds they think we don't have what it takes and farwell wanted to show them perhaps we're all to blame but that's not important right we must complete our journey and get that stone. Please, help us. Let's keep moving. Alright. We will not be doing any bad things. Oh, you're fully with me from up close. Lead on to victory for the Knights of the Thorn. Oh, and you too, of course. The path.
<sighs> okay, no, I'm not going there with them. This camera too. Oh, jump scare. Why do you have to follow them down there? Did, did Frendo went into the lava? He went in lava. Of course, he had to. Don't go down there. Who's there again? You are there, I see. Who is still there? Yes, a nice server. Uh, the boots would be the most valuable for the uh, weight. Where, where, where was two again? Oh, don't tell me you went up. Did you really went in inside the lava? <sighs> okay. <laughs> they were sure is a a sure at all. You did so well. Take this. Yeah, there's no way out of there. Mm. Where, where is companion? 
Please don't go inside. Okay, so. Okay, let's go outside, and let's wait, and I say, and you don't run inside Valava, again, thank you. Well, those two are sh sure are brothers. Brothers in life as well. A fair bit of doors and traps. Decent in damage. Okay, so this should be the We do be fighting very well. So wait. Is there like another door I missed? There's like three doors now. Was it the same, rending horse and then? Okay, no, it's the same. Alright. Got through one floor without them dying. Incredible. Progress. You are in good health. You are very healthy boys. And I'm happy to hear this. <clears throat> Alright, I bought everything, so I don't really need more money. Dark Salvation... Mm -hmm. Bending Holes... Okay, oh, that's the same. Oh, 
of it's a smaller treasure room, I see. But maybe we should be moving a bit uh, further away. <laughs> At least I took the damage, not them. Alright, so far they are good allies. But they are still about to run in lava, and that's not a good thing. Interested in Kramer. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Chaos Strongholds, we come from there. There is nothing more. I know there's two things. Oh. Okay, I guess I could have seen that door coming then. Oops. Feel stronger again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, back to Chaos Stronghold. Number two, three. Okay. What's below? What if I have? I think they went up. You better on that day now. What's your health at? You are in bad shape. No, you don't. You are not allowed to die. Oh, so this is a trap. Okay. Maybe we should wait. <laughs> Not everyone is good. Wait, how did you beat those two then? That's... That's kind of a nightmare to follow. Alright, apologies. But at least you have learned the lesson. Okay. Give him Sengi, so that's the final section. Alright. We just collect him. The boots.
the way. You're still very healthy, that's okay. We're still the final portal. Wait, where does that one go though? Oh, it's not a portal. Uh, I mean, I guess I could be a bunny shield can just... It's not worth... Uh, you return safe, and eh? it's that's all I need. Pour la toucher la pierre si je me suis retrouvé en dehors de Brillion et de retour en thème réel. La porte est maintenant. On peut retrouver. On va t'en parler à Farwheel. Ah, Chadenhall. C'est bon de voir ses walls de nouveau. Le gate a été fermé. Finalement, grâce à vous, les Knights ont une vraie victoire sur leurs mains. Peut-être dans le futur. Farwheel will learn patience and careful planning before dragging us into a situation like that again. I never want to see one of those gates again. We made it! Uh, I mean, victory is ours once again. Huzzah! You've done well. I wouldn't have expected such bravery from someone who isn't a knight of the fall. Now that this battle between good and evil has been won, and the day is ours, you should go speak with my father. He will reward you greatly for escorting me home and closing the Oblivion Gate. Since you have led us to victory, I am hereby giving you the honorary title of a Knight of the Fall. Your name shall be revered and your deeds placed into song to be performed by the greatest bards for generations to come. Congratulations. Azar. As a knight of the Thorn, you are now expected to carry this symbol of your knighthood. Carry it proudly and wear it well. No more will the gate threaten the good people of Chadenhall. The knights of the Thorn have triumphed once more. It sounds like the knights of the Nine are on a real crusade. They're collecting holy relics for something. Make sure you address the Count properly. It's even better than the base necklace. Guess I'll have this one then. And... Alright. Have to finish quest. And the real, real question is what, what quest is next? So can I need to do some repair? I don't need the money for quite a while, so can I not need the loot? Well then. I'm pleased to finally meet the savior of Chadenhall. I'm also overjoyed that you saved my son's life. I realize he's trying at times, and he speaks before he thinks, but he's still my son, and I adore him greatly. I'm sure he was difficult to travel with, and I respect your patience. Most would have given him up for dead, rather than deal with his ego. Anyway, I digress. I'm sure you wish to hear of your reward. I'm in possession of two fine weapons. They're both heirlooms of the Indaris family, held in the castle for several generations. I'd take great pleasure in bestowing one of them upon you. Please, choose the Thornblade or the Staff of Indorus. The Thornblade it is. Again, I thank you on behalf of all the citizens of Chadenhall, and I especially thank you as an elated father. Farewell, 
And may RK guide you. Yes, in fact, I do have a home for sale. It's a fairly typical Chain Hall home. It's in decent shape, although largely unfurnished. Really? Then you shouldn't have brought up the subject. Thanks. Even though he may be a bit misguided, I'm still proud to call him my son. I think if you had the chance to speak to any of the knights, they were happy to follow Farwell into battle. I'll be having a very long talk with my impetuous son. I don't blame him directly for their deaths, but he must learn to do things the proper way. He must realize he'll be ruling Chadenhall one day. That's a responsibility I aim to make him ready for. I have not read the works of Mrs. Otis. I'm told some find her guidebooks useful, though she apparently has strong opinions on some matters. Goodbye. As always, you're a welcome sight. Until we meet again. All right. Let's see. Termina should be a quick one to do. All right, sure got us. I should have enough. I guess I should also sell stuff. I do have a lot of boots. I guess I'll go to Tarmina first then. Your quest for the Crusader's relic. Those wanted posters of the Grey Fox are everywhere. Let's do business. Good. That. Thank you. All right. No. All right. U university. Okay, so should I have a pointer there? What is it, citizen? How are you? Ah, you. Now, uh, look, if you're here for information, I'm afraid you'll have to find it on your own. I'm swamped right now, up to my ears in necromancy. Not practicing it, mind you. Wouldn't want anyone to think I was involved in that sort of thing. I simply meant researching it. Why? Why? Oh, no real reason. It's just that the entire Council of Mages has been in here at one time or another recently. All wanting information on necromancers. Necromancy, of all things. Oh, of course you were. No doubt the council is trying to get you to bother me further. I ran Karanya out of here just a short while ago and told them to leave me alone. I keep telling them I can't produce results if I'm not given any time. I'm not used to working under conditions like this. Is that work? Help? No offense, but I don't see how you can do that. Unless you'd like to take some of this work off my shoulders, I'm beyond help. But I do appreciate the sentiment. If there's anything specific you need that may be more reasonable than just asking me about necromancy, Something I can respond to. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, there is one obscure text that references these gems. I believe it's still around here someplace. 
unless Qualcar never returned it. The name of the book is Necromancer's Moon. I'm unclear on the origins of the text, but it does involve these gems you're interested in. I'm afraid you'll have to find it yourself. I'm so out of sorts with all these requests. I've lost track of most everything. It's very distressing. A secretive cult devoted to the Daedra Lord Merun's Dagon, the Prince of Destruction. They follow the teachings of Menkar Cameron, who calls for the return of the mythic age when Oblivion and the mortal world were not separate. The usual Daedric claptrap of the purifying power of destruction. They hope to bring Merun's Dagon back to Tamriel and give us all a good cleansing. Things in the guild have been... You know. <clears throat> Why all the fuss now? I thought it would have died down by now, what with the ban on the practice of necromancy and the guild being in place for as long as it has. And yet, suddenly everyone shows up on my doorstep, needing information immediately. Never mind that I might have things on my own to work on. I believe you'll find it quite helpful. Once you've had a chance to read it, I'd be happy to discuss it with you. Oh. Uh, take book. J'ai trouvé le livre des Convenances Moon. J'aurais l'amener à Ramilis Polis après avoir consulté avec Tarmena. Well met. A most interesting text, is it not? We are fortunate that at least one necromancer took the time to record the information. I am unfamiliar with a shade of the Revenant described within the book, but I was never one to dabble in the more, shall we say, amoral arts. You may take that with you for now, if you wish. The Council may have use for it. Please, ask them to return it quickly, as I may need it again. Has Tarmina been of use in gathering information about the necromancers? Sure, the Fighters Guild raided a family tomb, but they did it for a family member. What's wrong with that? Excellent work. I believe this will be of use to the Council. I shall make sure they're made aware of its contents. Hmm. I've never heard of this Shade of the Revenant. Some sort of celestial phenomenon. If that's correct, then Bothiel would most likely know something about it, as the caretaker of the Orrery. She should be on university grounds. A most fascinating contraption. Bothiel is one of the few who understands how it worked and kept it running. I see. Hello there. Is there something I can do for you? Half of the Council of Mages resigned from You know this? I've heard things to be sure, but I don't really know anything about them. Is it true that some of our guildmates were killed? Oh, how horrible. Revenant, you say? And it represents something in the heavens? It sounds familiar. Let me think. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Falcar was here some time ago asking about just such a thing. He said it was for research. He had a large sheaf of notes with him about it. I'm afraid I didn't have any more advice for him than I do for you. With the Ori in such a state of disrepair, I have no point of reference. Falcar did leave this behind. I think it fell from his notes as he left. I didn't pay it much attention, but perhaps it will be of use to you. Farewell. Ok, j'ai un bout de papier que Falker a droppé quand elle... 
J'ai euh, rendu visite à propos du revenant mentionné dans le livre du nécromancien. J'ai rencontré cette note à Ravius Paulus. Falcar expressed interest in this revenant as well, and left this note behind, did he? <laughs> Perhaps we should look into it for more clues. This lists several locations. The first is the Dark Fissure, which I recognize. It's a cave in the mountains, south of Chain Hall. If there is indeed an altar there, as the note suggests, I believe this cave is directly related to the contents of the book. Go to the Dark Fissure the next time this shade occurs. Search for any connection to what we've learned and report back. Please, be careful. Anything you find is of no use to us if you do not survive. I believe we are dealing with powerful forces here. Do not put yourself in harm's way if it can be avoided. Very well. Je me souviens d'un fissure au sud de Célinol. Avant de la prochaine chaîne de la manette Oculus. Attention pour les lumières sacrées mentionnées dans les livres du Cromancien. Hmm. Ok. Euh, chez Ogolat. You've been told what Shea... The Nine Div... Go then. Another mortal fails to summon me, and already I'm bored. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. I could turn you into a goat, or a puddle, or a bad idea. I could make you eat your own fingers, or fall in love with a clown. Perhaps I could make you into something useful. Let's find out. There's a little settlement called Border Watch. It's a nice, peaceful place. And dull, dull, dull. They're going to make their lives interesting. They're a superstitious bunch. Everything is an omen or a portent. Let's make one come true. Find their shaman and ask about the Kashara Bra. On va essayer les items dans le Nadal Shogart. Nadal Shogart m'a parlé. Il m'a dit On a trouvé Border Watch. Je dois simuler une prophétie en commettant deux actes. On va parler au chaman de la zone. On va prendre à propos de la prophétie de Kashara. Hmm. Ok. Euh. Ouais. Adit Vispray, stone out. Ok, so we'll go for... Uh... There's not a quick quest, I feel. I hope the Shogorat one is not too long. Alright, so we should have uh, more things. Chanting. Spell making. Tronak. Alright. Hmm. Hard workers in my favor. Very good. Hmm. Ah. 
Oh, that's one more shot of the banish mine, nice. Halfway through. We need to find the the other attendants. Alright, so we should have bedroom. I guess it's a very standard bedroom. Hmm. Interesting. I need to be very up close to, to those. Main level. I guess I'm very unlucky with uh, the time I'm choosing to go to the top. Alright, enough talk. Where is Border Watch? Angelic's prophecy. Wonderful. I would be glad to tell you more. It has been told from our fathers and our fathers' fathers that our time in this place will come to an end. My great 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 grandfather, Kishara, foretold of a time when we would receive three signs from the gods. Signaling the end of the world. I am Rebasa, shaman of the Khajiit of Border Watch. These are the signs as they were foretold. First, there is the plague of vermin. It is said our town will be overrun by disease carrying creatures. Rats, I would imagine. Horrible little things. I always keep a powerful rat poison around in case I see one of the little monsters. Next is the plague of famine. It is foretold that our livestock will fall dead in their fields with no apparent explanation. We have but the six sheep in our pasture. And we make sure they are well tended. The plague of fear? Uh, I will not speak of this. Not to any outsider. I'll answer anything else I can. Is there something more? Perhaps you'd like to know more about Border Watch itself. I'm glad you asked. I could go on all day about our little community. We are but a handful of Khajiit, as you can see. Many are the evenings we spend around the cooking fire, sharing stories of elsewhere. The smell of our food travels for miles. If you'd like to stay, I'd suggest getting a room at the Border Watch Inn. We don't get many visitors, but Zetaza serves a fine ale. She also has the finest collection of cheeses in the Empire. Her prized cheese has such a powerful 
Dracula Roma. She keeps it sealed in a case. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, hmm. Je sais, je dirais que je reste dans l'auberge de Border Watch, qui a apparemment une très grande collection de fromages. Il reste le comté de Procédé Cachara, qui est une infestation de vermine. Second, une élection, et où tous les moutons sont supposés mourir. On a trouvé une manière de créer l'infestation de vermine d'abord. Welcome to the Border Watch Inn. We don't get many visitors. Please, feel free to stay a while. Take a seat, or feel free to look around. We have a fine collection of cheeses. I did speak about the cheese. Take Shadenhall, for example. Pretty little town. But the Count's a dark elf, and it's crawling with orc thugs and gangsters. Hmm. Be seeing you. I'm gonna I don't want to do that quest. <laughs> Maybe in near the end, but it's like it's long and I'm not too fond of the idea of uh, creating the end of a world of a village. Especially when they're of this kind. I guess it might be the time to go back to to Bruma and do some more quest there since I like three four. At least the one quest I will be able to do is the one that is about the the treasure that is uh, can't be found yet. We did get a fair bit of progress, so that's fine. Uh, eight quests for, for this time. Does help a lot to reduce uh, the uh, everything that I had to do. Oh, we also have uh, a Ray Win quest as well. Mm -hmm. As you can see quickly, Bravile, about that, that one building. Uh, Maybe now I will know what to buy to actually get the uh, this quest done. Prices in all Tamrin. I should buy this. Oh, so this is where we buy things. Okay. Now I know. Pleasure doing business with you. Do you have anything to sell? Not much. I have two of those rings, so I can do this. A little favor. And since I have a grand, I guess I can sell this one too.
It's a strong weapon. Better Crusaders. Uh, rise more. Alright, how much can we buy uh, now? Alright, so we. I guess it's time to save some more. That's a thing. Okay. And now we can finish. I appreciate your business. Be safe. Let's go to Nilowen. Oh, my maison in Braville. Yes. Alright, now guide to 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 Guy Fox. Pleasure to blast. Good day. If you order, orders very well. Aye. Uh, someone said, What of France? So I guess he does follow what the guy has to say, so. Looks like you're handy with the blade. I think I could be doing this, but. We need some more clues to another location, but now we have a, a good home. Right, I, I did board the scales. I do remember this. And that's one more easy quest done. I'll go with luck. This will be difficult to get more levels, so. Alright. Well, I guess uh, the next part will be. Either Ramon or uh, Bruma. I guess I'll keep this one for now. And now we have new home. Nice.